iPhone, it's Fjustra. This week, it would be exactly 10 years ago, Apple revealed the iPhone 4 to the public at WWDC. It was the first major redesign since the original iPhone three years earlier, and even now this iconic design is being missed by many in the tech community. This is a look back at the iPhone 4 10 years later. The iPhone 4 was actually my very first iPhone. Which one was your first iPhone? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't yet. I'm really hoping I could hit 10,000 this year. The iPhone 4 was revealed on June 4, 2010 and shipped 20 days later. It came with a 1 GHz Apple A4 chip, 512MB of RAM and a 1420mAh battery. Storage started at 8GB all the way up to 32 Back then though, those specs were actually fine. As I mentioned earlier, the new design was a major feature on its own. Steve Jobs called it one of the most beautiful things Apple has ever made. With its glass panels and the stainless steel frame, it was the thinnest smartphone at the time. The iPhone 4 was also the first iPhone with a retina display, meaning 326 pixels per inch. Although the iPhone 11 still has the same pixel density right now, of course, that display, now called Liquid Retina, is way better thanks to its higher contrast ratio, brightness and HDR support. Although this video is a tribute to the iPhone 4, uh, it's also necessary to mention some things that went wrong. The prototype that fell into the wrong hands and antenna gates are two of them, but there's just one more thing that made the iPhone not so fun anymore to use just three years later, and that is iOS 7. Now don't get me wrong, just like any iPhone 4 owner, I was glad to get the redesign that came with that update, but at the same time, the performance went down. It isn't a disaster though. Many years later, I actually still use the iPhone 4 as a backup phone when going on my yearly adventure trip, not just for calling, but also for some basic apps like Instagram. It doesn't work as fast as it wanted to, but it's just bearable enough for me to check some posts, not stories, and post a picture myself. Nowadays, one of the most important selling features of a phone is, of course, the camera. The iPhone 4 has a 5 megapixel camera that can film up to 720p at 30 frames per second. The front facing camera was just VGA quality, so 640 by 480, and could film up to 480p quality. For the sake of this video, I took some pictures and tried shooting some video as well with this camera, and compared them with the iPhone 11. The difference between both show how far phone cameras have come in the past 10 years. But keep in mind that the iPhone 4's quality was actually still very good back then in 2010. Ever since the iPad Pro 2018 came out, which has a design similar to the iPhone 4, people started dreaming about the return of that design to the current generation iPhones, and if you may believe the rumors, that might actually happen with the iPhone 12. Thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed the video please click the like button, consider subscribing and see you in the next one.